Today I've got a nice number puzzle. So our goal is to find a natural number, I'm calling it capital N, and N has four digits. So that means it's between 1,000 and 9,999. Furthermore, it needs to satisfy two special conditions. The first of which is it has four distinct digits. So notice, in fact, it's not allowed to be a thousand because that has three zeros. It's also not allowed to be 9,999 because that has four nines. But perhaps it's any number between those that has four distinct digits. The second condition that it must satisfy is that n plus the reversed digit version of n is divisible by 101. So what I mean by the reversed digit, that means I just take the digits and write them in reverse. Let's see maybe how we can do this. Well, let's say that n is equal to x, y, z, w, and then I'll put a line over it. So that means the first digit is x, the second is y, the third is z, and the fourth is w. So that tells us that x comes from the set one, two, up to nine, because it can't be zero. Otherwise, we would be outside of this range. But then y, z, and w, come from the set zero to nine. But then the reversed digit version of n, which I'll just call r of n in this case, will be equal to w, z, y, x. And now we want n plus reverse digit of n to be divisible by 101. So in other words, it needs to be a multiple of 101. But let's recall that being divisible by 101 or being a multiple of 101, is equivalent to being congruent to 0 mod 101. So let's maybe go ahead and point that out. So here is what we want. n plus reverse digit of n is congruent to 0 mod 101. So now let's see where we can go from there. So let's notice that we can take n and expand this using the base 10 representation. This is going to be 1,000 times x plus 100 times y plus 10 times z plus w. And then notice that the reverse digit of n, well, we can do the same thing with that, but I'm gonna write the sum in reverse. So that's gonna give us 1,000w plus 100z plus 10y plus x. And I did that because now we can take the sum of n and reverse digit of n pretty easily. So notice the n plus r of n is now equal to 1,001x plus 110y plus 110z plus 1,001w. Now we can do a bit of simplification. So notice that we have 1,001 times x and 1,001 times w. And we have 110 times y and 110 times z. So maybe that makes it kind of logical to rewrite this as 1,001 x plus w plus 110 y plus z. And now let's recall that our goal is for this object to be congruent to zero mod 101. So maybe we should look into what 1001 and 110 are modulo 101, and that's not too hard to do. So it's easy to check that 1001 is congruent to 92 mod 101. And what I mean by that is if I divide 1001 by 101, I get a remainder of 92. And then furthermore, 110 is congruent to nine mod 101. And that's pretty clear because if we divide 110 by 101, we get a quotient of one and a remainder of nine. But now if we reduce this mod 101, we'll see that this is now congruent to 92 x plus w plus nine y plus z. We can do one more simplification, and that is notice that 92 is the same thing as minus 9 mod 101. 
And we can see that by subtracting 101 from 92 and see that we get minus nine. So this is congruent to minus nine times x plus w plus nine times y plus z. Like I said, our goal is for that to be congruent to zero mod 101. So let's maybe bring this step up and we'll finish it off. So far we've determined a nice condition on n plus r of n. We need minus nine times x plus w plus nine times y plus z to be congruent to zero mod 101. So that would tell us that this n plus reverse digit of n was divisible by 101. Okay, well now let's maybe simplify that a little bit. So we can see that nine is invertible modulo 101. That's because nine and 101 are relatively prime. So that means we can take this congruence and just cancel the nine off. Furthermore, we can add this x plus w to the other side of the congruence, and we will be left with y plus z must be congruent to x plus w modulo 101. But now, this is actually more than just a congruence. This can actually be changed to an equality. And that's because by the restriction on the sizes of x, y, z, and w, it's impossible for this to loop past 101. So in other words, that means that y plus z must be equal to x plus w. But now we need to look at our other condition, which is that n must have four distinct digits. Now we can just play around with it. So let's say maybe that x is equal to one and we'll say w is equal to five. So that means x plus w is equal to six. So that means we need to find numbers y and z that are different that sum to six. So we can take y to be two and z to be four. Notice that means our number n is in fact equal to one, two, four, five. So if we were to check that everything's okay, we would need to calculate n plus r of n, which in this case is 1245 plus 5421, and find that that was a multiple of 101. But I'll let you guys do that and tell me if I got it right in the comments. And we could extend this problem a little bit by answering the question, how many such n exist that satisfy these two conditions? So again, I'll let you guys think about that for homework and you can post what you find in the comments. And that's a good place to stop.